And I'm very pleased to be joined at this time by the newest member of the Moncton Wildcats, forward Charles Baudouin, acquired in a trade back on Saturday with the Shawinigan Cataract. First of all, Charles, welcome to the team. Uh, when did you find out you were coming, and, and how do you feel about being a Moncton Wildcat? Uh, first of all, I'm very excited to be a Moncton Wildcats. Uh, great uh, organization, and I'm very proud uh, to be uh, a 20-year-old for... Uh, for the Wildcats, uh, I found out uh, that I was traded uh, right after uh, I was coming back from the Mem Cup in uh, in the plane. Uh, my GM uh, Martin Mondou uh, told me, and after that, uh, Richie called me after. So, how do you feel? I mean, your your season in Shawinigan just wrapped up a few days ago. Uh, now you're on your on the move for the last year of your QMJHL career. How do you feel? Uh, I I played four years in uh, Shawin again, so this is gonna be my fifth year and my last year. I'm very excited to, to change uh, organization too, uh, try new things, and uh, well, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Talk about this season in Shawin again. You had 18 goals, 31 points in 50 games. You had a good playoff, of course, leading to a President Cup title and a Memorial Cup semifinal appearance as well. Talk about this year with the Cataract. Uh, it's, it was a really up and down season for us. Uh, we had a lot of injuries, and uh, after that, we picked it up. And uh, I, I tried to play my best uh, best hockey and. Uh, uh, we know how, how it ended with the uh, President Cup and uh, after that uh, participation in the uh, Memorial Cup too. When people were talking about the teams to beat in the QMJHL playoffs, Shawinigan may not have come up as often perhaps as, as you and some of your teammates may have liked. What do you think made the Cataract uh, you know, successful in the postseason? Why do you think you guys were able to win it all? Uh for sure, the chemistry with the coaches and players. Every everybody was on the same boat, and uh, we had uh, everybody knew their roles, and uh, that's what I'm I'm gonna try to bring uh, in uh, Moncton too. It was a difficult year, as you mentioned, in Shawinigan with with a lot of guys being hurt. Was it tough to really get a sense of? How good of a team you really had until some of those guys were able to to be in the lineup together. Uh, I mean, for for sure, we played uh, I think uh, zero games in uh, regular seasons together. We started playing full uh, full lineup when uh, William Vett came back uh, against uh, Quebec, I think, in uh, in the semifinals. So we didn't we didn't didn't know what uh, our full potential was until then, and. Uh, now we know we, we're a pretty good team and uh, great chemistry, like I said. Now, what made the difference for you guys against Charlottetown in the President Cup final? The Islanders were such a good team this year at locking down opponents, not allowing them to get many shots on goal, many good scoring chances. But you guys took advantage of the opportunity you got. What, what allowed you to do that against a very good Charlottetown team? Uh, like you said, probably the opportunities. Uh, I mean, one game we had uh, four shots on goal, and they had twenty-two, and we we were still winning uh, three. Uh, we're up three-two. Uh, we had a uh, we we didn't stress too because uh, every time we we went down the goal, we knew we could come back. We did it all seasons and all the playoffs. So, I mean, we we stayed focused and stayed cold, and that's it. You had three assists in the four games played at the Memorial Cup. Talk about that experience. It's one that not many players get to have. I mean, uh, I played with uh, two great players all the all the Mem Cup with uh, Maverick Burke and uh, Xavier, uh, Xavier Borgo. Uh, when when you play with the, those kinds of guys, uh, you know the the first thing you want to do is uh, play simple and uh, play your game. They They've put me with them so uh, I could get the puck and uh, let them do the work. So that's pretty fun. Uh, that, that's, yeah, that's uh, probably why I, I had a good tournament too. So after four seasons with the Shawinigan Cataract, you are now a member of the Moncton Wildcats for your 20-year-old season. For fans who may not be familiar with you or with your game, what do you feel like you bring to this team? I'd say I'm... Uh, 
an offensive player uh, with a good body. I can uh, I can be physical. I like to be physical, and uh, that's what I'm gonna bring to the team. I'm a good leader too, so I hope uh, I can bring uh, every young guys uh, in. And I'm um, very excited to, to be part of the Moncton Wildcats. What do you think you can bring from that playoff experience, the championship experience, the Memorial Cup experience? What do you think you can bring to this locker room of uh, of young players, of guys that are still trying to find their way in the QMJHL right now with the Wildcats? I mean, uh, I've been there. I had uh, good 20-year-olds when I, I was 17, 18. So uh, I, I learned from those guys. Uh, stay cool. Uh, enjoy enjoy the, the 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 moments you have in the in the queue. It's a very uh, very important moments that are, that's gonna be uh, there for the rest of their lives. And uh, for sure, bringing uh, the the leadership that I just got from uh, the 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 playoffs and the Mem Cup with uh, how to stay cool and how to play in those uh, kinds of, of games is gonna it's gonna work. Uh, uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a uh, What's what I'm going to tell them, probably. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you about your own QMJHL draft experience. You were the 11th overall pick by the Shawinigan Cataract back in the 2018 QMJHL entry draft. What do you remember about that day? Uh, it's probably one of my uh, best days of my life. Uh, I mean, uh, to get drafted in, in this... Uh, in this league's a uh, very proud moment for the the players and uh, for the families too, and um, I'd say uh, good luck to all the the guys who are getting drafted uh, today and uh, tomorrow. Well, yeah, as a guy who was drafted four years ago, uh, what would you have any advice for any of those guys that are potentially waiting for their names to be called today? Uh, and like, like I said, enjoy the moment. Uh, if you get drafted. Uh, there's uh, there's a lot of time, but the the time has passed quick. I mean, uh, four years ago seems like a, a year ago for me. And uh, enjoy the enjoy the moment all, all the way. Enjoy the draft too. Charles Baudouin, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations. Welcome to the Moncton Wildcats. We'll see you in a few weeks when training camp begins in August. Thank you.